Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today, today's date is Thursday, the 23rd of May 2019, and the time has just gone 9.50 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is silver. Uh, I'm starting off with a really wider term view, uh, looking back all the way uh, from 2016. Uh, you can see here that silver has been in a very clear and obvious downward trend. And if you take a look, at the price action uh, more so uh, in the last few months since February, we can see that, February, that um, since February, silver um, that tends to be is in its downward trend, and we're seeing a nice series of higher, of lower lows and lower high highs all the way along. In fact, only this week, uh, silver fell to a level not seen since uh, early December 2018. So that gives an indication of how, uh, of how bearish um, the silver market has been recently. And given that the, that the wider um, trend of the last few years has been to the downside, it's looking likely that we could see further losses on the silver market. And if you do manage to press on lower from here, and if you take out this area here in around the kind of 14 spot 4 uh, region, uh, if you do manage to see a size of break below that, uh, that could take us back down toward the kind of psychologically important 14 spot 0 level down around here. And then if you go below that, we could be looking at targeting this area here. Um, which would be the November lows in around 13 spot 89. Now, if we do see uh, a rally uh, in, in silver, we could see fresh sellers enter the fold because as we've seen in the last few months, um, selling rallies has been a fairly popular strategy. So we notice how we saw the market rally up towards here in, you know, uh, here in March. We saw the highs of April were short-lived along with uh, the highs, uh, the highs um, that were achieved in early May. So Moves to the upside have often attracted fresh sellers, so if we do see a bounce back in the silver price, we might see um, new shorters enter the market. So if the market does mar manage to rally, um, we could see resistance come into play in around this area here, this red line, which comes into play, which is a 200 moving average by the way, and it comes into play at 14 spot 91. And we can see here on a few occasions, uh, in late April and early May, that particular metric did manage to act as resistance. And if a metric has acted as resistance in the past, it makes it more likely that it will do so in the future. And the same can be said for this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at, uh, at a, well, just, 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 uh, just south of the kind of psychologically important 15.00 level. We can see here that the 50-day moving average acted as support back at the back end of last year on a few occasions, and I managed to act at resistance on a few occasions as well in 2019. So once again, if a metric has been uh, has been important in the past, it makes it more likely that it will be that'll be important in the future. Obviously, there are no guarantees. And if you do manage to, to go beyond the 50 moving average, the next area, area of resistance could be this region here in around the 15 spot 11 mark. There's a few occasions the market um, there thereabouts between kind of 15 or 5, 15 spot 11 region. That act, act of resistance um, in mid-April, so I might do so again in the future. Uh, but if you do have a sizable break above 15, it's about 1-1. That could be an indication that the kind of the downward trend has been in place for the last few months has come to an end, and we could be actually looking at pressing on higher up towards 15, spot three and beyond. Now, if you are going to be trading the silver market, it's a good idea to keep just keep an eye out for what's also going on in the gold market. Um, Dow theory tells us that, that the averages must confirm each other. And gold and silver tend to move in the same direction. And if we, this is a gold chart we're looking at here. And you know, notice how the, the price action from February onwards has been quite similar, whereby we've seen a series of lower lows and lower highs on the gold market. But, but it is worth pointing out that the lows uh, in May for, uh, on gold, having taken off the lows, uh, so, well, the, the, the recent lows uh, in May haven't taken off the lows um, of early May and and, uh, and 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 late April for gold. So if you do see the gold market take out this area here in around 12.66 and break below, you know, the early May, you know, stroke late April low, uh, that, 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 that that's, it's possible that can actually add to the bearishness in the silver market. So if you keep an eye on, if you're, if you're trading um, trading silver, also uh, keep an eye on the gold market, but also keep an eye on what's going on with the US dollar. Uh, gold and silver are quoting US dollars. 
the strength of the US dollar is, the tendency there is, there, there, there can be an inverse relationship between the two. So whenever we've seen gold, whenever we've seen the US dollar push higher, we have often see gold and silver drive lower. So keep an eye on what's going on on the dollar index as well. We can notice here how, how the, the May highs have just about managed to take out the April highs on the US dollar index. Even though we heard from the Fed last night, and they made it pretty clear that they're unlikely to move rates in our direction, uh, for, 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 the, for, the, for the foreseeable future. Interest rate, um, inflation rates are below their target. That's the kind of main sticking point for the Fed, even though they admitted the jobs market is strong and the US economy is strong. But it's also about politics. Uh, uncertainty over Brexit and the kind of poor manufacturing numbers in the, in the Eurozone are actually is making the US dollar the relatively strong of the kind of major currencies. So keep an eye out for the greenback. It is worth noting uh, that, that tomorrow on Friday, we do have U US durable goods numbers. That's a, possibil a possibility that could impact the US dollar and in, and in turn possibly impact the price of silver and gold as well. One last thing before I go, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.